Hey guys, it's Sunday night. It's time for Paint Talk on my favorite how to paint show. You can see by looking at this that this piece you could say is done, but I have decided to give it a new look. This is one that we have in our own home. Um, and sorry about that. Uh, this is one we've had in our own home for three years. I painted it three years ago in our other house. It was in the living room next to the sofa. And I do love this piece, so don't get me wrong. I actually love this piece. Right now, though, we have, since we've moved, we've moved it into a, um, like a hallway that leads to our bedroom. And because of that, it's kind of, it's dark most of the time. I have a lamp sitting on it, but it just stays dark. So I felt like after looking at it for a year now that we've lived here, I decided I wanted to update it. I wanted to give it a little bit, um, a little bit lighter look is what I'm trying to say. And I just basically told Matt a few minutes before, piece right there, I'm going to repaint it. <laughs> so I don't want to totally cover up because this was one I did on a Friday Night Live. Um, actually, Quita, I think it, it wasn't, was it three years ago? It was one of the very first pieces that I painted on Friday Night Live. Um, so if any of you recognize it, let me know. But I loved it so much, I kept it. Uh, the sides and the top are the Bohemian Blue. This is Mermaid Tail. This is a combination that I called, I created a color um, with Carnival Red and Summer. Buddy, I'm so glad you're here. My name's Dion Woods. I'm the owner and artist at the Turquoise Iris. Matt's here. Hello. And we're so glad that you're here tonight. Like I said, um, instead of starting a new piece, I actually decided to repaint one that we've already had. So this was that color I created, Firecracker. And um, I think at the same time, Quita was actually using Kissing Booth because she didn't have any red. And we were kind of using the same colors. We were kind of doing the same thing and our pieces ended up so completely opposite um, that everybody got a good, good kick out of that. Um, hi, Michelle's on here. So if you guys need any links, any questions, um, if you need the voting link to our Spread Love Challenge, um, we are in full voting mode, um, everybody. So we have like 30 votes and we narrowed down our finalists and I read those. You can click the link if you don't know anything about them and actually uh, find out and then please vote. You have a few more days to vote. Uh, Carrie Carter, Pam Dudley, Lolly Lolly, Alice is here. Matt packaged up your painting today and we'll be shipping it out tomorrow, Alice. So you can be looking for that in the mail. Um, Amber's here, Aaron and Lindsay, Ellie, Molly, Kathleen. I'm so glad you guys are here. Listen, I'm going to repaint this thing. Hi, Derek. All right, so I have lightly missed it. I did this, like I said, three years ago. I had some palette knife action going. I can tell by this bright yellow that I dripped my acrylics on it. It's almost like a fluorescent. I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you. I got a question. Um, yeah, baby. If if you put if you're putting water on it and you wet it down after three years, can you still move the paint? I cannot reactivate this, babe, because I actually sealed this already. Uh, with the wax and all I'm doing at this point is I roughed it up just a little bit, but I did not completely remove the wax. So it's a good question, Matthew. The, the original wax is still on here. Um, so this is almost going to be like a very thin layer that we're going to put over this. Um, I was telling everybody in the beginning that this sits in a dark hallway. And the only time I really ever get to see this piece is when I have the lamp on, which I do every night. I turn the lamp on every night as we're walking to our room, so it lights up that hallway. But I am ready for it to have a little bit different look, and I will ask you guys right now, I'm gonna add some of the Queen Bee and some mint chip. I'm kind of thinking I wanna add some flowers. Like I just kind of, I'm. you know me guys, I'm in a flower mode, I just wanna spill flowers abundantly all over the place. Woods. You want more flowers, right? Oh, yeah. That's what my heart desires. <laughs> so this is my own piece. I'm keeping it and going to put it right back in that hallway with just a little lighter. You know, after three years as a creative, 
I'm just ready for a new look. That's just the way it goes. So I'm using my dusty brush from Paint Pixie. It's always my go-to brush. And I don't want to cover up the red completely. This was a color that I did half and half, that bright red, using Carnival Red and Summer Crush, half and half, while Quita worked with Kissing Booth and Old 57, I believe. I worked with those, the red and that's Mermaid Tail and Bohemian Blue. I see some Kissing Booth in here and I see some, some Summer Crush down in here, um, but I do love the piece. I just thought I would change it up, give it a little bit different look. And then I've got to start looking for some furniture because we are getting low. Um, Elisa Dixon says, this piece was the very first FNL I ever watched. Oh, my gosh. I thought, what in the world is all of this? Oh, Lisa. <laughs> and, I'm so... and she's still here today. She's so. still here to hear. What a loyal, loyal viewer. Can I just say thank you so much for that, sister? You, I didn't scare you off, huh? Because it was a hot mess. Quita was using a power washer. As yeah, basically. somebody had mentioned that was the one where she had the, the power washer. Yeah, and she was basically like, Psh, and she turned it on stream, and the stream just shot across the room, and I was like, whoa, 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 I did not say do that. <laughs> it was pretty good, y'all. Um, all of this is DIY paint. Like I said, we are voting for spread love. Thanks for everybody popping on last night. I had my friend Becca Miller from Miller's Crossing on, and she came on, gave us a studio tour. That was a lot of fun. Thank you for those of you that left a comment. So I'm going to do this now. I'm going to let some of that red come back through and give this kind of just a more, just a little bit softer look, you guys. And I'm really just playing. I, I'm not, I don't have a desired look. I just know I want it to look a little bit different than it did. And so I'm spraying a lot more water than I normally would. Maybe you should have got the power washer. Maybe I should have got the power washer. Just like a wise guy. <laughs> so I have midship and queen bee, which has kind of been like where I've been living in that zone lately. I'm not worried about this at all and neither should you. Um, although I do want to get my, I'm going to get my number 12 and just play for a sec. Um, guys, I was in, I was interviewed yesterday. Does anybody know who Kacha is? K-A-C-H-A on YouTube. Does anybody follow Kacha's channel? Kacha's Furniture. She interviewed me yesterday for her podcast and she does her podcast on YouTube, on her YouTube channel. So um, you can actually, especially you YouTubers, um, you can go and look at her channel tomorrow in the podcast. She said it'll already be out tomorrow, so um, you don't have to wait long. And I hope that all of you um, go listen. We ended up talking for a very long time. We had a lot out with furniture, so it was really fun. She was a real sweet person to talk to. I enjoyed it immensely. So hopefully you guys will check out that, um, that podcast. We had a lot of fun. She's funny. She's funny. Okay, so you see how that kind of took it down another level? But what you can't see is the yellow just kind of settled in. And so it created this really good, strong texture. I don't know if I'm going to leave that. Um, I think what I'm going to do, this jar of cowgirl coral is watered down heavily. It's got a lot of water in it. Kacha is very funny and upbeat. I will check it out. Thank you, Alice. She is posting it tomorrow. I'll post the link too. But she also said, um, no, she would send me the link. Um, but I just wanted you to know if you can't guys already follow her, follow her, it'll be out tomorrow. She said a new podcast every single Monday. Okay, I think I actually want to do a little cowgirl <clears throat> coral too. Uh, Lindsay Fuente. Hi, Lindsay. She said, I'm used, used to using synthetic brushes. Do you use the natural brushes because it's better with DIY paint? I heard that recently. About to order some paint and brushes from your site. Um, okay, so if you are wanting a smoother finish, it's really a personal preference, you guys. There's some people um, prefer a synthetic because it's going to probably give you less brush strokes. I like all of the layer and all of the texture. So I actually... Not that I want a whole bunch of brush strokes, but guys, I want texture added. And so if the synthetic is going to give me a smoother finish and I use eight to 10 colors with every application, 
I don't mind the texture. And so um, I love the synthetics as well. Our art brushes are a synthetic, but um, I don't know why. I, I, am, I always go towards grabbing um, the paint pixie brushes. But um, I don't know. It's always a terrible answer because I don't have, I'm a creature of habit. And so I tend to just grab. So I'm going to let that sit there for just a second. The yellow really picked up here and I am loving it. It's like I already really loved the piece before, but I'm also excited to give it another look. What do you think, Matt? Sure. Sure, he says. Woo! Now this is a continuous spray bottle. So it comes out very soft in a fine mist. It's not like a, you know, when I originally painted this the first time, I was using an old school spray bottle. So it was shooting out more and more, you know, a stronger direction and a lot heavier too. I'm going to hit that one time and get that going. I think we'll also add in some gold. So what do you think? Do we load it up with flowers down here? Do we have a flowers coming down from the top? What do you think guys? Hmm. I think you think, I think you should do some flowers upside down like they're hanging and you're drying them out. Hanging, like pull them like a... Yeah, like like you know, you do cut flowers and, uh -huh. and you, we used to, remember how we used to cut them and hang them upside down? Yeah? Yeah. Do that, huh? I don't know. It's something different. Okay. Well, I like that idea. Anybody else have an idea? Um, okay. A water lily, says Margaret Joy. Derek really likes you to give some flowers. Give us some flowers, okay. So should we do like we've done before and put them in the center and have them kind of spilling out over the blue? Should we have them starting at the bottom? Should we have them starting at the top and drifting down or the vine look? Matt gave me his vote. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, I'm, I'm having another thought. What oh, about, shoot. what about, about, you have flowers. Okay that are being windblown in a hurricane. Windblown in So they're like almost soft. Like from the ground? Sure. I'm just saying. You know, okay. Know. No, no, no. I want to hear, you know, you. hear your ideas, baby. Now I'm going to spray this with water. I'm really liking how this cowgirl coral with the yellow and the mint just softened that red and took down the intensity a little bit. I just kind of want it to be a little bit brighter. But who knows, we might put black wax over it and darken it back up again. I have no plan, guys. I just grabbed a few colors. Uh... They're really kind of digging the, you know, maybe uh, vine and flowers top down. Are you lying? No. Because you know it was your idea? No, no. Uh, Danielle, space. she says, I like the over idea. Um, Lisa says, I like the vine from the top down. Um, I like the vine from the top down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Deanna say James Van Rudin says, how about mostly on the side, but spilling onto the front? Good idea. Mostly on the side. Uh, Lisa says Matt had two thoughts in one night. He's on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> She's always there for you. Lolly says doesn't need much flower. Need flowers. Doesn't need flowers. At least not many. We see uh, says a boat. Mm. I love that. Is Judy says top down. Okay. Uh, Cynthia says, is there much clean up inside the drawers with that much water spray? Uh, there will be some drip. It's not as much as you think. It's not as much as you think. And most of the time I'm like, I'm spraying, I'm kind of angling down. It doesn't really and go so back. The lip of it, it just, it doesn't typically go. It usually just spreads out underneath there and falls down. There's not a whole lot of cleanup. Now, if you were to maybe paint it like if it was on its back and spraying it. Yeah, that, that might be. And I've done that. I, I love to do the tie-dye look by laying it on its back. 
I love that so much. We need to do that again. We do. I'm actually thinking of doing it um, maybe this next piece. Uh, Rob would like to know, what is Dion's favorite flower to paint? Mm. Can, I, can I go, can I take a shot at this one? Well, you sure can, honey. Sunflower. <sighs> you lose, Woods. Lolly, you are... Not on the rotten, but I'm pretty sure you're on the bad list. Uh, are you picking on my lolly, lolly? <laughs> All right. I already love it even more because there's so much more texture that you guys, I know you can't see, but as soon as we're off here, I'm going to photograph it and post it. Now, I work on this bottom section. I also want to add in, oh, this is so good right here. You know what? Never, ever, ever, ever let me get to a point where I don't take time to paint furniture. I truly, truly love painting pieces of furniture. Like, okay, Matthew, no matter what, even when I'm 82, always make sure I have furniture there to paint. Can you, when we're 82, can we make that happen? I'm talking to you. What? Oh my gosh. I'm reading. I was talking to I you. I am reading my fan mail. Uh, Derek would like to possibly maybe see some irises. Irises. I do love irises, Derek. I, I love flowers that are wispy. You know, I, I, I seem to be drawn to the more, not necessarily a lily, but I like the ones that have like flow with large petals on them. I don't know. I don't like as much like small clusters of a bunch. I like the real free flowing flowers. Um, so I don't necessarily have, uh, the rose is actually my favorite flower to own and to have and to look at, but I'm not, um, I'm not as inclined to paint it. Like I just, I love more of a flowing and maybe it's the, like I, my abstracts, it's a, when I look at flowers to paint, I look at the shapes and the colors but I don't necessarily try to mimic um, like this in Daydreamer. My favorite part of Daydreamer is actually this powder blue color that I have here. And I used all palette knives. I used a few of my brushes and then I actually used a catalyst wedge for this. Um, but I used my, my, my large palette knife. And if you, if you think about it, the way I get started, even with my abstracts, a lot of them, we ha I have the same motion. It's just kind of like what my motion, my go-to is. Um, and it kind of mimics like a real um, soft, flowy petal on a flower. And that's like, I could see that. I could see where several of these areas could start a flower. Rob would this like is to Daydreamer. Know, have you done any abstract, uh, have you done an like, abstract piece of furniture? Um, I haven't necessarily but like for the last piece misty meadow i feel like that was kind of an abstract um the this, in front of you kind of looks like this abstract. is kind of an abstract right here what we're doing now once i start adding flowers um now i haven't done this on a piece of furniture but when i paint anything i always kind of feel like it's abstract a lot of my ocean scenes or my beach scenes i feel like a lot of those my sunsets um like right now i look at this and i feel like this is some some water with the sunset, and um, I don't know, do you guys see that? That's kind of what I see. Um, I'm gonna get some navy in here, guys. Kind of looks like the storms are brewing on, on the ocean. Storms brewing. I want it to be peaceful. I don't want it to be stormy looking. I'm not really into that. Two people on here would really kind of like to see you do some abstracts on, on a piece. Yeah, I have actually thought of doing something like this on a piece of furniture, a large armoire, and actually do like I would on a canvas. I've been thinking about it. Um, it sounds fun, <laughs> but I'm also kind of like, is somebody going to buy it? Um, because as much as the artwork works in our house, I'm not sure a piece of furniture kind of would. So I don't know. I've been thinking about it, guys. It would kind of have to be kind of a flat piece. I mean, not, not, not a whole It would be easier a, yeah. to just do a flat wardrobe or some cabinet doors and then i could totally turn that into a fun abstract like these ones back here behind us 
Yeah. I could. I've been thinking uh, about Lolly it. Lolly wants to know, Dion, do you see the bird on the painting? Oh, the bird? Now the painting on on the abstract painting or on the piece of furniture, Lolly? Oh, oh. Does she, do you mean the bird on here, sis? I was thinking this was the one Jasmine said had a woman's face on it over here. Was it this one that had the woman's face? I don't know. I can't remember. I'm not sure. This is Daydream. Oh, it says abstract, yes. Okay. The bird. Is it where the baby blue is? The powder blue? I gotta spray this, guys, because I don't want it to cover all my boho up. But I put a little hay sailor, which is our navy. I mixed it with a little mint chip. And oh my gosh, this is delicious. Abby, she came to check it out too. This is so good. I think I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think what's making this look so textured is the fact that it has wax already on it. And I know as a teacher, I should not tell you to paint over wax, but I'm sorry. It looks awesome. And I think that's part of why. Matt, what does that smell? Is that fire burning? Somebody that uh, probably probably working in the chimney. In the chimney. Okay, sweetheart, I'm yeah. out of water. Do you <sighs> mind filling this up? Oh my gosh, I don't want to smell like smoke. I haven't let that yet. Okay, well let me close it while you go get that. Ooh, sorry guys, one of our neighbors is burning something on their back porch. Mm. The one I saw last time, it was in the upper right in powder blue. In the powder blue. Okay. I think the one you saw was right here, Jazz. I think it was that one right there. Because I don't see powder blue in the upper. Like that wasn't it. Um, okay, thank you, sweetie. Okay, so I'm going to bring you down, and I want you guys to be able to see this. So I apologize if this makes you, I'll, it's a small piece, so it won't take me long. Okay, so when you see this wash, this is mint chip. There's some yellow, and it's all over this red color. But look how the yellow settled over the mermaid. Isn't that beautiful? Like, I love that we basically, we kept the same color theme, but we added so much more depth by giving it a wash of color over it. And then look down here at the bottom. On the Bohemian Blue, I added some Hay Sailor and some Mint Chip. I don't know. If you like it, give me a heart. Or are you thinking, girls lost her mind? Thank you, Betty, for sharing. Uh, Barbara Garcia, greetings from Argentina. Would you please tell me what kind of painting you use? Are they in water? So, um, from Argentina, thanks for being here tonight, sister. Um, I use DIY paint. And it's a clay-based paint, no VOCs. Um, I use it. It's a chalk and clay base. So um, it's a very natural. It's very porous, so it holds a lot of water. Um, but it also means it dries quickly because it evaporates quickly. And this is Abby. She's coming to say hello. Can I go lay down? Can I go lay down by Daddy? Okay, okay so I'm going to shift it on its side in just a second. Um, but yeah, this is, there's a lot going on. And instead of covering it completely up, I just gave it a soft wash, added a whole lot of texture to it. And I'm still super glad that I'm keeping this piece. <laughs> um, and what to answer your question about that also, ma'am, is that this is a um, fine mist sprayer and it's a spray. So I give it one pump and it keeps spraying out in a really soft mist. So it doesn't just pull all the water off all at once. And I'm gonna turn on the side so we can work a little on the side before we go today, okay? Where 
Where's your Where's your wheels? I wheels. Elijah helped me bring it in tonight. So I, you can tell that I put uh, mermaid tail on first, and originally then I had bohemian blue over it. Then you can tell that I used my palette knife, and I brought in that firecracker red that I made with kissing booth, and then there's some golden ticket. So I like all of that, but I kept the scene on just the front. So I don't know. I'm not sure how I want to change it up, but I'm going to just jump in there and, and change up the color just a little bit, guys. I've got this cowgirl coral watered down. When you water down DIY paint, put it in a jar, mix it up really good, and use it as a wash. Guys, it's so much texture. It changes it just a little bit, and it's totally worth um, it's totally worth it. Barbara Garcia says perfect and with the best dog performance, LOL. Yes, my girl, Abby. She's the best girl. Abby. She, she's, she's thinking it's time for bed. She's so getting she's, a little restless. She's coming to tell us that she is ready for bed. We literally had her in front of the fire. And as soon as we came in here, she got up and came with us. Okay, so I have a sheer coat of Navy, the Hay Sailor. And I don't have a plan for this. I don't. I don't. I think we might work on another girl tomorrow. Another portrait. I'm going to spray this in a minute and let some of those underlayering color come back through. You know, I have, I've been pondering a question. Okay. And I've been pondering it for probably... A couple weeks now. All right. I'm 43 years old. Yeah. And I've had the same haircut since high school. I'm wondering if it's time for me to get a grown-up haircut. You have a grown-up haircut, honey. You just you fix your hair like once a month because you always I'm just, you I, always wear a hat. I know because. I just want to, I want to, I think I want to look 43 years old now. I don't think I look So what is a 43-year-old kind That's of haircut? That's what I don't know. I don't know what kind of haircut's 43 years old. I don't either. But, like, I think that just means they style their hair and you just throw a hat on. Uh, like, Rob says shave it. No. Rob? Rob? No, Rob, that's an absolute I did that. Idea. I did that in high school and Dion almost broke up with. It was not a good look. I'm just saying. That was not. I a looked good like I looked like Woody Harrelson in that that the what was that movie? That real weird movie that he did. Oh my gosh, what was the name of it? He does lots of weird movies. There's an older one. No, he doesn't. No, no shaving. I don't know. Jasmine says, start a Pinterest board, Matt. Of oh, hairstyles. Okay, it's Janet from Another Planet. Says, Hi, bus Janet. Cut, bus cut on the side, two guard, and messy on the top. Janae says, get a perm. Janae, that's yes, a terrible idea. Yes, Natural like Born it. Killers. I look like Woody Harrelson on Natural Born Killers. That's, that's exactly terrible. Right. So this looks uh, like Derek says, this. LOL, I'm the same, Matt. I figured if I kept the same long enough, I might come back in style. <laughs> this is true, Derek. This is true. Well, what's kind of funny is the hairstyle he had growing up that when, you know, his late teens and early 20s, Holden has. Holden has that hairstyle. It's like because they have a cowlick and Holden's hair is just like Matt's. And there's only so much you can do with it, babe. Like, you can't have Elijah's kind of hair. You know, you're kind of limited. Molly says I need blonde highlights. Blonde highlights. Would that really stick out in my... I mean, do, do, do 43-year-old men have highlights? I guess some do. Some do. Yeah, I guess some do. I mean, the guys in the movies do. He thinks he looks like Brad Pitt, guys. I'm just saying, we were talking about this tonight. My son agreed. Did he, though? If Brad Pitt, Chris Pratt, and Jason Bourne that had a kid, Matt Damon. had a kid, it would be me. I mean, if it was possible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rob said, midlife crisis. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Betty says, have what you want no matter your age. This is true. This is true. Good night, Jasmine. But he puts his cap on, like me, every day. Like, every day. When do you actually not wear a hat, Matt? It's very rare. When I sleep. On Christmas. Christmas. It's true. At that point, the boys look at me in the morning and go, can we wear a hat today? Hey, Debbie! Given this, given this piece of makeover, even though it's already done, I've had it for three years, I'm covering up a little bit of the bohemian blue, but I'm letting some of it start pulling through. So we're letting that kind of dry up. Super happy with the way the front has turned out. And I painted over wax because I'm a real breaker. Cobbler <laughs> uh, says I can support the salt and pepper look. Um, he doesn't really have any pepper yet. I could do some, I could do some pepper highlights. Pepper highlights? Yeah, I don't, is that a thing? No, that's a terrible idea. You can't have salt and pepper, fake salt and pepper. Like you either are or you're not. Debbie says maybe a military cut. No, Debbie, no. I'm just saying. No. I like his hair. I like his hair. I like no whiskers. Well, Cobweb says maybe pepper lowlights. Is that a thing? Pepper lowlights. I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very happy with the front. We did very little to it. But we watered down mint ship. We watered down queen bee. Um, and then um, we watered down cowgirl coral. Uh, Lolly, I think uh, Lolly takes the cake. What did Miss Lolly yeah. Lolly say? Lolly says, I like mullets with a frosted tip and gel. Lolly, you get off this channel. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. Um, all right. So a few minutes ago, I was showing you guys this painting, right? dreamer um and i was telling you that my favorite part of this particular one is right here where i have in the powder blue so as i move forward with abstracts i would love love grow it out and have a ponytail betty you should just sign off here betty, sister sign off here sister betty it's a wonderful idea <sighs> um as i i want your guys feedback even if you're not an abstract person, when you look at Dreamer, and this is the one that I actually did after um, my girl Debbie Beard, what part do you see that draws in your eye the most? Like, is there a particular color that you love? Is there a particular like design or pattern that you like? Someone, is it Lolly that says she sees the bird? Uh, Lo yeah, several people see the bird, yes. Lolly is uh, referring to it as the bird painting. The bird painting. I love it. Wait, Lolly, is it here? Is it right here? And then the orange wings? Is that what you see? The center and the movement. Yeah, I no, I, I am seeing that. So that's what she's seeing. Okay, guys, so this is pretty well completely set up. I absolutely love this yellow washed over the mermaid tail. If you haven't tried that, do it. But I honestly, I think the way that this is setting up is because I painted over the, the wax. When Crystal has a good question, Crystal Coral, Marie Molina, she says, do you use your fingers for that abstract too? I did not use my fingers for this at all. This was all my palette knives. This was my, um, the wedge, my catalyst wedge and a little bit of the wash brush. I used um, the mop and I used my wash and then I used this more than anything, my number 12. Um, but this is Dreamer after Debbie Beard. <laughs> I did, I do use 22 and I use 12 a lot. You see a woman dancing? Sharice, mm -hmm. where? Uh, Amy also said, I love, she sees a lady Mexican dancer with lots of scarves. Where do you see a lady dancing? Uh, uh, Danielle sees, yep, yeah. mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. dancing. Debbie sees dancing. Hola. Uh, Betty says, Hola. I hope I say this right, uh, 
Cali Calypso, Calypso, honey. Calypso it's a dancing? Calypso dancer. Okay. Dancing? Oh my gosh. Uh, well, Pop Web sees dancing. That would explain it because Miss Debbie Beard loves to dance. It's uh, called Dreamer. The is in the white body in the center. The white body in the center. Oh, I see center. that, Lolly. Yes, I see kind of wings extended out. Mm -hmm. I don't really see the woman dancing. I can see the woman dancing. Oh, I can. I see her I can. Yeah. I can. The face is up Ooh, here. Ooh, that's cool, too. The, yeah, she has a blue face with a yes. blue shoulder. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I totally see that, you guys. Y'all are so much fun when we do that together. Um, so it is fun. It is everybody. fun. Everybody always has an idea of what they see. It makes me so excited. Um, so I would advise if somebody has um, DIY paint, if you are a user, I would recommend instead of throwing these away, what I would love for you to do is when you have just a little bit left, I would fill it up with some water and shake it, stir it really well and keep your washes and call, you know, like this would be Hey Sailor Wash. And then use a smaller brush and it really adds so much texture here that I cannot wait to photograph as soon as we get off of here. So I have to decide if I just want to put a clear wax on it or if I want to, because remember the reason I brought it in here is because I wanted to lighten it up. I've had it for three years in my house. Um, but I, I just, I love it even more and I wasn't expecting it. I think the whole addition of the yellow and the mint chip really did it. So are um, you going to hang on to this? Oh, yes, I'm not giving this away. I love this piece. Okay. <laughs> it's going right back in that hallway, sweetie, by our bedroom. Right back. Uh, Callie, do the washers ever start to smell? No. But, Callie, I go through it so quickly. You, If you've seen me um, working a piece of furniture, I pretty well use a wash on everything. I mean, this, this just has a tiny bit of cowgirl coral in the very bottom. And I just have it sit there. I do that all the time with the bottom jar. Is that a girl carry? No. Nope. The Rock. only thing I ever smell with DIY paint is kind of like a clay dirt smell. Um, Rob says flowers, question mark. I don't know if I'm going to do flowers, Rob. I mean. Sue asked, what about white wax, question mark? I could do that. I don't know. I don't know if I should do flowers. What if I don't like it after I do them? It's just paint. I know, but it's so good. Well, then leave it alone. And if you think you need to do flowers on it, do it. That's, 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 that's my motto. Well, we need to do an abstract piece. We've got a plan, you guys. We're going to move into the winter. We need to do a piece that's totally abstract, like the painting, right? We need to do a piece of furniture. I need something that's got a flat cover with no definition, no grooves. And then I need to... Um, I'm actually kind of curious. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited about finding a piece that's flat that you can do an abstract on. Yeah. We'll have to ask my picker, see what she can find. Well, she said you have an armoire coming, but oh. we'll see. I do. I do have a large armoire that's coming. Um, so maybe that's the piece that we use. And we'll do something just like this. We'll get, we'll... We'll base coat it with DIY and then we'll start adding in some acrylics and some layers and put some wash in it and it'll be fun. Do we even spray paint it? Ah, nah, we shouldn't do that. Okay. Uh, Kimberly Porter, can we do something based on colors in Monet's snow paintings? I don't know what that means. Is that like, do they have, does Monet have like some, some snow paintings? I don't know. We'll have to do some research. Uh, Sandra Rayburn, I am here. Thank you for being here, Sandra. I'm just giving this piece a new look. Lightening it up just a little bit on the sides and on the front. I painted it three years ago on a Friday Night Live with Quita, and I just needed a new look for it. So Rob, have you been doing any uh, new paintings lately? <laughs> I I I got on and I, I painted something with Dion in our in our face our YouTube yeah. group. And I uh, Matt painted. And I I told Dion I said Rob inspired me. Rob inspired me to paint. But Rob was painting flowers. It doesn't matter. 
And Matt painted this. Thank you, uh, Michelle, for posting that. I do have Miss Llewellyn coming on Paint Talks podcast Thursday. You guys know Llewellyn with Warren to Whimsy. She's going to be on with me talking about her journey as an artist and furniture artist Thursday. And then I'll be on Katja's podcast tomorrow. Um, I guess she releases it at a certain time and it's on YouTube so we can actually see us on her podcast. Uh, but she and I talked, we talked yesterday for over an hour and a half for the podcast. So it was very, um, we were both like, do, 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 do. Uh, Suzanne Grant has a question. Do you use gel medium on your abstracts? I do not. I have never used a gel medium before. Um, tell me a little bit about that product. I would like to know more. That painting on the floor to the right back there caught my eye as some colorful birds. Oh, that one over there. Colorful birds over there. That is always smiling. And that is named after Miss Llewellyn Crastip of Warren to Whimsy. All right. So I am spraying this pretty heavily and I am letting all of that DIY uh, Bohemian Blue come through. Thank you, Deanna St. James Van Ruden. She Thank says, Deanna. wow, I love it, Matt. You're way better than Dion has ever even thought of being. She didn't say that. I had less of that. Uh, <laughs> what did Llewellyn say? What did Llewellyn say? Uh huh. She said something. This one's always smiling after Llewellyn. This one, I'm thinking they said this one looks like it has some birds on it. Yeah, maybe? I, I think I read something along that line. Yes. It's hard to figure out the camera angle in here. I apologize. That one is always smiling. I tried to pick a name that made me think of my lovely friends. Okay, so I need to just kind of let that go. So what we have to decide if we're coming back tomorrow and doing flowers, yes or no, are they gonna be from the top spilling over? Are they gonna be um, spilling up from the bottom? I think, or are we the, just the not biggest, supposed to... Yeah, the biggest consensus is no flowers. Really? Yep. Okay. So now that they've seen it, they're saying no Lolly flowers. Lolly says no, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Well. We need more. No flowers. No flowers. Tell me truth. Give it to me, guys. Let me hear it. Uh, Sue would like to see flowers. Uh, Susie, no, leave it. Oh, flowers, yes, says Pam Dudley. Uh, Aaron Norris says, I like it with no flowers. I want Deanna to like me, not hate me. Deanna, she knows I'm just kidding. Deanna. Oh, I already met Deanna. I already yeah, yeah. love her. Yeah, she knows. I already know me. Deanna, and I already I love am her. Just, I am just giving Deanna a hard time because I can't. Because he can't. Okay. So you guys see all of this texture. Um, look at the yellow over. Now, I did not get rid of all of the wax over this. I'm sorry. I am telling you that I painted over wax. I wanted to see what would happen. And this is Hey Sailor over Queen Bee, or excuse me, over Bohemian Blue. This is the mint chip over the mermaid tail. And that's the Queen Bee. And oh my goodness. So this red originally was half and half of Carnival Red and Summer Crush three years ago when I mixed it up and I called it Firecracker. That was the color that gave it. So the consistency overall is, you see a green parrot. Where is a green parrot? I, may, it might I have to the, know. The painting. You saw it? Yeah, I didn't use any hands. green. Um, I need to know, that's so cool. What are you thinking for hardware? I have hardware, I'm putting the original back on, I'll show you. Uh, Rashonda White says, always yes to flower. Janae says, yummy texture. I love it too, you guys. It oh, was Benjamin like. Benjamin David Howard says, do a palm tree or a parrot. Do a, oh, do a palm tree or a parrot. Gosh, 
you guys are giving me a lot of credit as if I could do either one of those. I did do a palm tree on the cover of the journal magazine. So this is the original hardware, you guys. I probably will spruce it up just a little bit. Maybe I'll do them copper next time. These just have a little bit of gold on them, but they're the original brass. Uh, Wendy Moore has a question. Yes, ma'am. I love how she wrote out question in all caps. That is great because I get so you can, I can see, see it. it. Mm -hmm. What color of wax would you use this time? Well, I know I won't use wax. Oh, excuse me. I won't use dark and I won't use white. I honestly think I'll use clear because it already has so much color, so much going on. There's a lot of movement. And then I just need to decide if I'm going to do the flowers like Matt suggested or leave it, clear wax it and put it right back in the hallway where it came from. Um, I just, I kept, I've been literally walking by this for a year thinking you need a makeover. You need a makeover. You need a makeover. Um, how about IOD Bohemian stamps? Sue, that's a great idea too. You love the copper idea? So are I you, guess. Are you, are you going to throw possibly any um, golden ticket on this? No, I said I'm going to use the copper instead. Just I'm going to use pennies from okay. heaven. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going to use pennies from heaven. I think that'll look really good with the warm red. Yeah, I think this copper on the hardware and with this will look really, really good. And I did not have this product when I painted this three years ago. So I'm glad some of you were on here that remember the original episode when I painted it. Uh, Quita was on here and she was using a what appeared to be a power washer. <laughs> Um, but Tasha this is Watkins says maybe one big flower on top corner that spills to the side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, that gives me something to think about. Another combination I keep saying to you guys is use queen bee and mint chip together. I know that it may not feel right. There's a lot of yellow in mint though. Um, there's even some green in this queen bee. You guys, they look really good together. Um, so especially if you're now I wouldn't necessarily finish a piece in just those two colors but they're beautiful highlighting they also look good in flowers so those are two must-haves as well um I think I will sign off now and you guys pop on tomorrow and we'll figure out what we're going to be doing um I'll have it figured out before I come on we'll either clear wax this baby or be doing flowers I just I need to wait and see what it looks like when it's dry in the morning so everybody thank you so much be sure you check out Katja's podcast tomorrow uh, where I got to be a guest you've never used this before Debbie they're so good um, I used them on the last piece Misty Meadow and I keep grabbing them to go on different variations of my furniture colors as well I love it um, and Go vote. Spread love. Yes. Go vote. We have 30 votes. Um, we have three finalists. Click the link uh, that Michelle has put in this thread and uh, give us a vote. It won't take very long. And then we will announce the winner on Wednesday night who we're going to ship that dresser to. The dresser is Miss Frenchie. Our nominees were Kathy T. Tianette Major and Cheyenne Lunsford. Go vote. Don't All right, forget, everybody. podcast, catch your podcast tomorrow. Yep. Dion's podcast came out on Thursday. Really good. About what was that one? The Enneagram was out on Thursday. Was really good. This yeah. Thursday will be mm -hmm. uh, Llewellyn Craston. Love her. Yep. All right, everybody. Have an awesome Monday. You guys get out of here and go be awesome. See ya. See ya.